Hi, this is Nellie Deutsch and I'm on Moodle Manager Training where I'll be showing you how to add a plugin called Tendence to Moodle 3.8. So let's go into the administration site, administration area, and into the plugin. So I'm going to install the plugin. So here's the plugin, install, and then I'm going to go into Moodle.org, add the word search i'm looking for 3.8 notice there are two one is the block and one is the attendance i'm going to get both so let's start with a block click on install now look for my site which is uh, moodle MOOCs is right here click on it wait a few seconds and the install will begin click on continue continue and continue next i'm going to click on install missing dependencies now this is really really important so make sure that you get that done before you install the actual plugin otherwise you're going to have a mess on your site notice i'm getting the attendance blocks and the activity so let's go into upgrade moodle database now if you're wondering what theme it is, it's Iguru. All right, next, continue. Okay, now you can decide what results you want per page. Allow students to record their own attendance. Now, this is important if you don't want to do it yourself. Notice everything else. Students record attendance during session time. That means they can only record their attendance during the session, or you want them to actually record it before. I think during is not a bad idea, but if you're doing a Zoom live online class, that could be a problem. You'll have to tell your students to do it during the session. Notice uh, anything else here, default view, multiple sessions. I, that's up to you, of course. Recording expanded create calendar events yes why not follow through and see what you want automatic uh, by default you can do this but you don't have to do it by default and then of course there's the email content and save changes now go to your course and in your course let's turn it on in your course make sure that uh, you add the block under your blocks and then you can add the activity Notice the add a block is over here. Click on it and then look for attendance. There it is. Click on it so you have attendance. Okay, there's the attendance block. Next, uh, let's go into the activities and resources. Add an activity or resource. Go into attendance. Click on add. Some people have said that uh, everything on Moodle is easy. It really is. Everything is very easy. All right, so you can add a description. It's up to you. You don't have to, but if you do, you should, well, you don't have to add the display description on course page. You can just add the description. All right, notice I'm using TinyMC and not auto. I should be changing that. Activity completion. Students can manually, well, that's up to you. Uh, restrict grade do you want to give a grade not really because they're going to be doing their own attendance save and display so you can take a look and see what it looks like we're going to set it up actually all right so um, we're going to have a session you need to decide on a time okay if it's the week you want them to sign up for the week if it's daily then it's by day okay so we're going to have days and not weeks so this is the day today is actually june 12 so let's uh do it for june 12 and um let's uh choose okay we're fine all right so that's okay okay so this is uh it live online class and the test okay that was just a demo uh, Moodle site but this is a real site with their real courses and real people so um, I've added it up okay so the date is the 14th I'm going to have a live online class 
a Zoom class. So here, notice what I've added. I've added the um, the class, okay, and the time. And what's important here is that I will allow students to record their own attendance. So this type is for all students. If you're not sure of anything here, you can take a look at. It could be also groups. Uh, the time of the session is from 10 to 11. And um, notice here it's automatic marking. Okay, but it says set unmarked at end of session, or you can just automatically select highest available. That's up to you. I'm going to add it. So I've added one attendance for June 14. All right, so this is it, and the students will be able to take action and actually tick off their own attendance. So let's go into the course so you can see what it looks like. Okay, so this is the course. I've added this under the live online sessions. These are the three remaining sessions. And there's the attendance. Okay, so if I go in as a student, let me do that now. So I'm in as a student. Let's go into the live online classes and recordings. And here is the attendance. I'll click on it. Remember, it's for June 14. And notice um, what I can do here. Uh, right, I cannot do anything right now because um, the session hasn't started. Okay, so notice there are no points. But this is what the students will see before. Okay, and we're not in all courses. We're just in this course. In order to show you how it works for today, I'm going to add a new activity or resource. I'm going to add another attendance. You can have as many as you want. Of course, you're going to need to have uh, one for each day or a week, whatever you want it to be. Okay, so no description, no grade, no restrictions. Um, we're going to leave this out. We don't want to give grades and, um, and save it. Okay, so I started the uh, attendance okay so that's the first step next i'm going to set up the time so i'm going to do it for days and i shall do it for today click let's make sure that this session has been added okay description create calendar event for this and um, allow students to record their own attendance that's correct okay add it i also create a calendar of events all right, and that's it. Um, regular class session. That's the description. You can change that, of course. And uh, if you want to delete it or change duration, you can do that. So everything's all set. All right. So now let's go back to the course live, to the section actually, live online recordings where this will appear. There you can see it. You might want to give it a name. Um, so let's just. Uh, so that they don't look the same. So attendance for, let's call it test. Okay, test attendance, save it. All right, now I'm gonna come in as a student. So now I'm in the course as a student and uh, I'm going to go to live online and there click on test attendance. Remember to set the time, otherwise it's not gonna work. Okay, so I've set the time, create calendar event, allow students to record their own attendance, and click on add. So now we've got two of them. Notice all students. Here it's 12 a.m. Let me get rid of that because that's a long way from now. Okay, so here we are. Um, all right. Now I noticed I added the event here, which means that anyone will be able to view it. Okay, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into my course, which is um, Little Training. I'm in as a student now. Go into Live Online, or I can do the test from here, from the block. Notice uh, it's available on the block. Scroll down, go into Test Attendance. And notice what's over here, Submit Attendance going to click on it there now how do i do it present late <laughs> okay so you might want to leave out the late 
unless your students are honest, which is fine. And the absent, if they were absent, okay, so this is um, something that you might want to work out with your students. But definitely present and save changes. Remember, I was in as a student and I got two out of two points. Isn't that great? So let me go back as a teacher so you can see what it looks like. So now I'm in as a teacher. I'm going to turn editing on so I can work. And notice what I'm going to be doing. Let's go into live online classes. First of all, you want to know what teachers can see. So let me go into the test attendance. Going to delete it in a minute. And notice what's over here. All right. Uh, this is change attendance. If I think that they were actually not there or they were late or whatever, I also have control. All right. But I can uh, see the report and we're talking about this week. But if you'd like it by days, you can view it by days or weeks or months. It's up to you. And then I'm going to get the report. Click on it and notice uh, these are the students in class. And um, there is a summary of one present of all the students in the class. Only one is present today. Notice there are three pages. So you can see. Um, see that status set okay, you can decide how you want to remember i'm not sure about late or excused okay um what is excuse um you could get excused at a university of course if someone is sick they are excused but if this is a fully online course you might not want to do that um absent i'm not sure if i would do that if it's um self-attendance by the students. I think that if they're not here to do it, obviously they were absent. So I would just leave present or late. And notice the point system here. Okay, um, this is something that I don't know if you want this, uh, this point system, but you might want to have a hundred for being present and maybe 90 for being late. All right, but it's up to you. You don't have to have any grades at all. Okay, so um, that's what it looks like. Now that you know what it looks like, I am going to go back to the live online class section over here, and I am going to delete this one because I don't want this one. I want the one for the 14th and uh, it should disappear from there as well. Just refresh so we can see that it disappeared. And there you can see that uh, the 12th disappeared and there's only one for June 14. So let me go into that again just to make sure that you see it. Let's go to the activity. That's what the students will be able to do from there as well. Uh, notice right now it's the 12th, but if we want to go into weeks, we'll be able to get write the session that we added which is actually on the 14th so let's go into the 14th okay by days i'm going to add the other live online sessions as well 13 and then 14 nothing on the 13th and notice there's the one for the 14th and i'll be adding more sessions as i said for the other three live online classes. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please ask and subscribe and get notified. Thank you so much.